All right, welcome. This is the Remix New Features Overview webinar. And our goal is for everyone to walk away with a better understanding of what is new and improved in Remix over the past six months, specifically for transit agencies, and also answer your questions. So we really want to lean heavily on the, uh, the question asking. Don't hesitate. I will be presenting for uh, the beginning and Drew Harrington, my colleague, is also here in the room with me. He's going to be helping me out with the questions. So again, don't hesitate to just throw them in the chat box or the log. Okay, so two quick housekeeping items I just want to clarify for everyone on the line before I introduce myself. One, we would prefer instead of the chat box if you could ask your questions through the Q&A log. That's what it's called, but chat box is okay too. We'll be looking at both and monitoring both. It won't bother me. As soon as it comes to you, just put it in there. The second housekeeping item is that this webinar is recorded. This webinar is recorded for the folks that couldn't make it today or in a different time zone, and we, we will be sharing out that recording after the webinar, as well as some links to resources that I will be discussing here today. All right, so officially, let's dive in. My name is Tamara Lima. I'm an Enterprise Customer Success Manager here at Remix. I'm wearing my transit shirt today because we're going to be covering a lot of transit focused features and I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I am, I've been supporting our customers here at Remix in North America, Australia, New Zealand for about four years now since 2016. And previously, I was working in the transportation consulting field for a company called Fair and Peers here in the Bay Area of California. Um, most of my work centered around transit, pedestrian, bicycle, conceptual streetscape design, impact analysis, travel demand modeling, and other general engineering and planning projects in the transportation space. Um, my background is in civil engineering with a focus in transportation from Cal Poly, San Luis Obispo. Go Mustangs. <laughs> All right, so to make this experience as best as possible, I'm actually going to turn off my video so we can maximize the real estate on the Remix platform, uh, as well as some of these slides that I'm going to go through quickly right now. And then I'm going to turn my video back on during the Q&A session. Okay, great. So, oh, quick overview for all of those that are, oops, there we go, that are new to Remix and a, a high level of just the company's history and philosophy, philosophy before we get into Remix. So, from a mission and vision perspective, Remix helps our customers tackle their safety, equity, sustainability, and accessibility goals. That's still true today, that's been our mission. And uh, we folks really use our platform to amplify their team's impact through three specific ways. Making informed decisions by using data, that first pillar there on the left-hand side, and evaluating the trade-offs and impacts with the data in one place. Two, saving time and money by exploring design options and rapidly iterating on concepts in-house. And three, building consensus and trust by effectively collaborating with stakeholders and the public. So in other words, our goal and our mission from the very beginning has been to help empower users to create the best public transit network for their community. Now, our roots are in transit planning. We're super proud of this. Uh, when we launched in 2014, we really started focusing on transit agencies. As we've worked with our customers, we've grown our platform to address their strong desire to pursue safety, sustainability, accessibility, and equity goals holistically. And our customers show us every day that building more livable cities encompasses not only public transit, but street design and infrastructure capital improvements as well. Mobility management, data exploration, and interagency collaboration are all a part of that picture. So we expanded our platform to meet their needs. 
Here you can see we started with transit planning and we've actually built much more uh, outside of that. So our platform does a lot today that we're really proud of, but we're not stopping here. We've invested heavily in our secure data platform that powers our current offerings, transit, street, and mobility management right there in the middle. And it enables multimodal insights and analysis, but we're always looking ahead to the future to support our customers through the journey that they're on and help you achieve your plans, not just this year or next, but over the next five, 10 and 15 years. Overall, we work with 325 local governments around the world to bring together the complete transportation picture so they can build transportation networks that elevate the quality of life for their residents. They're leveraging powerful, easy to use software to help their teams do more with less. And we're excited to share some of those stories with you today, as well as show you a lot of those new features that folks are using. Last slide, just some noteworthy resources for everyone on the line today. If you're not already aware, we've got help.remix.com, our help site for customers, blog.remix.com, and our customer success team. So please maximize these resources as much as you can to make the most of Remix. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the platform. We are right on track. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch my screen to be my Google Chrome browser. So if you are at a computer on this Zoom call, you can, if you're able to, or you have enough screen, uh, put the Zoom on one side, log into Google Chrome browser and get into Remix on the other side of your screen and you can follow along. Everyone's welcome to do that. Okay, so a couple quick things I'll call out. We have uh, overall about, uh, gosh, 15 new features, both big and small that we're gonna touch on today. It's like the tip of the iceberg, but we wanna make sure everyone's aware. So there are a few right here on this page. Um, here we've got our list of transit projects. This probably looks familiar to many of you. And Remix users may have lots and lots and lots of maps. So we've created a uh, type of filtering at this view so you can more easily and quickly find that map to speed up your work. I also recommend, this is kind of a pro tip, but you can always use your control F in your filter a bit advanced and you can search for a specific map this way. Okay, as we start a new project today, I'll set the scene. So this is the new features webinar and I'll put the date here. You remember, this story is going to take place in Providence, Rhode Island. So <laughs> this is, it's not a true story. I'm pretending, I'll pretend today, but I am a transit agency planner in Providence, Rhode Island. And recently, a business association, a local business association, and say the mayor's office reached out to me regarding a new company that's doing some redevelopment along two sites on Pittman Street in Providence. This is an area of town that we really wanted to reallocate resources to. And so I'm excited to sketch out some ideas and trade offs in Remix. I know I'm gonna to need to work with the business association, the city, especially some of the traffic engineers and my internal team in order to answer ad hoc questions and draft up proposals for the service extension along this corridor. What would it take and what are the impacts? So that's kind of setting the stage for what I'm gonna, the story I'm gonna walk through today. I'll go ahead and say that uh, for the purposes of this webinar, we are doing six months for the purpose of this map for transit agencies in Remix. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and create a project. So let me just call out here, this project description is new. Um, this is allowing you to uh, 
you know, in emails, you send a remix map link and have to describe something there. But really, it's just keeping everything in one place. You can add much more detail about the project timeline or the project extents and constraints, and you can put that all here right in one remix map. Okay, this looks pretty similar, but what you may notice in the top right, we've got a new magnifying glass right there. This is our map search feature. So users and all you on the line know your communities the best locally, um, but a search function can really help you identify the right spot more quickly. So I know that I'm going to type in the East Side Marketplace comes up here, there's a few. This is actually searching for stops, existing stops that are on the map. So I know I want to go to that area of town very quickly and I can search now. All right, so here's Pittman Street running east-west across the map here in the middle. Okay, and I can turn this search off now that I found my area. I know the new development or the redevelopment, I should say, is coming in and around this site and down here across from Witherby Park. So this is the area I'm looking at for this particular proposal. And there's some existing service in this general area. So I want to get a quick sense of what that service is. And I'm going to go ahead and import nearby lines. So actually, get a little bit closer into Pittman. I don't want too many lines here. Okay, great, this is fine. So I'll import these 12. That information will come in here and you can easily and quickly see that I've got some service in the area. And then when I hover over these bus stops, there are bus stop names as well. So to get a quick glance about what kind of services in the area, I can click on a line and actually I can use JK on my keyboard to scroll through this service very quickly and just get a general sense of what routes these are and what they do. Oh, and let me back up a little bit. That's a little too close. Okay, so those types of keyboard shortcuts that really speed up usability in Remix, we now have a way where they're listed all in one spot. So I went ahead and pressed the question mark on my keyboard, which pulls out this keyboard shortcuts panel on the right hand side. The other way to access the keyboard shortcuts panel is to actually click at the top in the three dots and keyboard shortcuts here. So you'll never forget them. <laughs> okay, so as we go into zero in on the Pittman Street area, where I know this uh, service extension that I want to try uh, as an idea will happen along Pittman here, I'm going to go ahead and click on the east side route. And I can also use I and O to show the different inbound and outbound directions. And I'm going to take a look at some of the stats on this side. So I can see the population within a quarter mile of this route and the general frequency and service throughout the day and on the weekends. Now, in Remix, we do have the ability to uh, set vehicle types, operators, different operators, different costs per vehicle type or for operator and also save or store these service windows if there are particular buckets of service windows that your organization uses. So all this information can be customized uh, in Remix for your org, and we have the ability now to do a bulk update. So for example, if I come in here and change this bus to, it's about 122 per hour instead, you see the cost increase on this side. And this information can be stored and saved so you don't have to do it for every Remix map. And we can please reach out to your customer success manager if this one interests you, and we can do a bulk update on our side. Okay, so, 
data has been a really big theme for us at Remix last year and definitely into this year as well. So we have a bunch of new layers and we made some new improvements here. These new colors and these buckets of all the different types of later layers that we can now bring in, folks are really utilizing so they can have all the transportation data in one place and quickly pull it up for reference. I'm gonna show a couple here today. Uh, like I'm actually going to show municipalities and that search how I got to that layer really really quickly that's also new so this has a fresh clean look it's totally um, crisp and we really wanted to hone in on communication and presentation visuals so we updated a lot of our boundary layers to be a bit more clean cut we also are able to this is one super exciting for me as a as a former traffic engineer and planner is turning movement counts. So I'm going to go ahead and turn these on in the area. And we have multiple layers you can turn on on one time now, which is totally new. I know folks have been asking for that for a long time. But as I zoom into the Providence region, I can see turn counts here for the PM peak hour. And these dots are showing me where we have those turn counts loaded in. The darker the purple, the more vehicles are traveling through that intersection, the lighter the color, the less. So as I get into my project area here, I'm gonna start to see more fine grain detail about these intersection turning movement counts like this. And I can actually see every movement here. Now, this information is you know, found in many different places. I'm sure folks on the line have struggled finding this data in the past, but it can be from the city, it can be from impact analysis reports, anything. And we can bring it here into one place so it, you can reference it with your project as you're telling your story. And we really want to emphasize these data layers because we believe that getting your seat at the table and developing strong partners at the city um, with the city engineers, with the city planners, with other stakeholders, whoever it may be, is a really, uh, is a really important mission that we're trying to help with. Okay, outside of these data layers, and I'm going to show a couple uh, more later on, but for right now, we're actually gonna move on to doing this extension, just drawing up a quick extension here on Pittman Street so I can get this over to the Downtown Association and my internal team to see what's feasible. So I'm gonna take this 92 East Side Road and the big development's gonna happen down here, so I wanna extend it a little bit farther in order to maximize the screen real estate and get that big visual I'm going to minimize this toolbar on the left hand side. Give me the most max space, maximum map space and I can even get that perfect screenshot. I can now rotate the map, the base map here to just get that right angle if I wish to do so. And I'm doing that by holding shift, shift and rotating the map in the bottom left hand corner around the center. Okay, so here I've got the inbound. I'm gonna go ahead and extend this line quickly here over to the roundabout. And then don't forget about my outbound. I actually need to drop a couple pins in place here to orient this to come around the shopping center. Extend my line this way. Oops. I'm actually gonna want to go down here there we go quick and easy and i can bring this down like i'm coming through the uh the shopping center as well to hit that spot let me just go here perfect make sure i don't forget that one so now i'm going to consider add a new stop considering that this is the new development site with the new headquarters i want to create a new stop I'll say this is 
company X new stop just for proposal create and I can turn that on for both my inbound and my outbound and I actually want to make sure that this is turned on as well okay that'll impact Jane later on so now that I've drawn up my quick extension, I've added a stop where this development is coming in. I am going to uh, actually toggle through this route so I can see the original here. And actually I should name this a little bit better. So I have my original still from my import. Expand this. And I'm going to label this something a little bit different. So I'm going to say this is alternative one for extension. Okay, and I'll make this purple. So I've got my extension there. And then I've got my original as well in teal. And I can quickly toggle back and forth between these two alternatives using that J and K key, those keyboard shortcuts. A couple quick things I notice are this extension is 13.67 miles. The original was 12, so I am adding that extra distance. That extra distance is going to make a difference in a few ways, not only with the population and jobs, but with also the stats, the number of buses, the cost, that type of thing. It's going to be an important to check in with my operations and scheduling team to figure out what's feasible and what's not. Oops. Okay, so I want to quickly get some stats for the company in the mayor's office and the downtown association about what impact does this extension have. And I'm going to use Jane for that, our travel time isochrone. I'm going to place Jane on the map here at the new development site. I'm going to zoom out a little bit to give us a full picture of the region. All right, here we go. So Jane is using all the transit service that I have loaded onto this particular map. She's currently showing us at default how long it takes from someone to get from this point within 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and 60 minutes in red to get to those areas of town. Now, for this particular situation, I'm curious of an 8 a.m. commute into this area. So I'm actually going to change Jane to be time to Jane, which is making her the destination. As a business location, uh, they may want to know how many folks, you know, live within certain time bands that are able to access their company headquarters by a certain time frame. So I can see that here, 156 folks using the transit service here can access this place within an hour. You can also change these other demographics. Maybe you're looking at jobs, 8 a.m. on a weekday, and even, I'm gonna do this trick here. So as I turn my project extension, my alternative one extension on and off, I can see that impact to Jane. And I can see that she gets an eastern, east-west mobility, especially here in the top left-hand corner. And you can see that bubble change. So that's some of the impact of this extension project. Yes, and these numbers, like with the project, about 150,000 people live within an hour on transit, via transit to this, this destination. And without the extension project, that drops down to about 140,000. So those are some of the quick just metrics I can pull and ship off uh, in an email quickly to my stakeholders. Of course, there are trade-offs, so additional metrics would, would be helpful as well that you can find in Remix. Um, the last I want to show here in terms of a new Jane, so not only that Jane can be a destination in addition to being an origin point, but many cities, especially in the more rural areas, I'd say, 
want to consider longer commute times or at least look at isochrones that have longer commute times. So you can have 90 minute bubbles, you can actually go up to 180. And then also our most densest concentration, urban areas, including university campuses, really want to hone that in on 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, smaller time frames. So that is possible as well now. Okay, as I'm pulling up this plan, I've got some great facts and metrics that I can send over to my stakeholders, but I want to make sure to call out some uh, important infrastructure trade-offs that are happening for this extension. So for example, I zoom back into my project area, both this site here and this site over here, and I want to call out you know, this area, I'm gonna need to make sure that the company is aware uh, of what we need at a bus stop if we were to add one. So text annotations are new in Remix. This is super exciting. I can actually drop this text call out and say, consider, uh, bench, uh, let's see, consider a bus stop street, Furniture, like bench, um, signpost, and trash can. I want to make sure we don't forget about that. Call that out here, my annotation. And I'm also going to add one more up here as a reminder, oops, a reminder for me to, um, you know, verify with operations and city staff that 40 foot coach bus can turn using existing truck bus apron at roundabout. That'll be important. Oops, roundabout, there we go. <laughs> All right, so that'll be important to keep in mind as I'm flushing out this product. Annotation, super exciting. I'm gonna share a little story about some of the value that folks are already getting with annotations. Before I do that, this is one of the ones I'm most excited to share with you all, is a presentation ready visual. So, we know that those maps are really important to share your story and get just right. Maybe you're presenting at a council meeting or at a meeting with stakeholders. So we have actually, let me clean some of this up. I'm gonna turn on just the routes I care about right now. So my extension and the original. And then I'm going to go up to my link and we have what's called the map export. So you can actually throw your Remix link here into a map, uh, a map image, and it just gives us a little bit more, more control of exactly what that visual looks like. So I'm gonna bring in my inbound direction. I'm gonna zoom into my project area here. So I wanna ship this off with my email. I'm gonna turn on the legend, I'm going to go ahead, make my extension dash because it's just proposed. And I'll turn on the circles and names here of the stops so it's a bit more clear. And on my original one, I can have the circles and names as well. Well, actually, that's a little too cluttered. Maybe I'll just keep these stop names here. Okay, so this has a lot of power to it. Downloading this PNG very quickly with a high resolution snapshot of exactly what I wanna show, I can ship that off in my email to add more context. All right, I know I'm throwing a lot of information at you all, so I'm just doing a quick pause.
Oh, I do want to mention that thank you for all the questions. We will address these questions at the end of the Q&A. Please keep them coming. Oh, yes. Okay, one quick one that's very applicable to right now. What source is your travel time based on? Ah, in terms of the extension. So the extension of, of this particular route, and please, if I'm not, correct me if I'm answering this question incorrectly or misunderstanding this question. Um, this extension is just based on the existing average travel speeds of the original route. So it's going to be important to do uh, some you know, some work, if you will, to make sure that that average travel time along the existing Route 92 would still apply to this extension because Remix assume, assumes a default. If it's different, then you can go in and change that in Remix directly through the timetable. Okay, so I am going to switch to a uh, back to the PowerPoint just to share a couple quick stories before we get to even more new features in Remix. So I am going to go here and share this quick story. So one of our favorite folks out there may actually be on this webinar if you are Eric Goodman out of Community Transit in Everett, Washington. Shout out to you. Uh, part of the challenge that Community Transit and, and Eric Goodman faces is that in strong transit market areas, there may be physical infrastructure that's the limiting factor to offering that quality service. And the transit agency might not own the street infrastructure or the right of way below. So Eric has used annotations to really call out and bring attention to those infrastructure needs that might need that that may need to be addressed so that jurisdictional partners can understand where and why investments should be prioritized. And you can see that listed out here on the left hand side. So it really strengthens those conversation, gets in front of them, gets everyone at the table, focusing on what the constraints are to push this project forward. Secondly, I just showed you the map export with the presentation ready visuals. Here's an example of a real agency in Uppsala, Sweden, all the way across the globe from where I am right now, uh, that has very much made use and gotten value of this visual polished map. And they specifically use it for com communicating detours easily and quickly. So previously, there was no uh, great visual, the public, um, you know, getting this detour information out to the public may have been in a written format. And sometimes it caused confusion with community members. So now saving time and money, they can provide these detours visually and have print ready, ready visuals to delineate the detour from the existing service. So this is a huge win for them and we're really excited that they're taking advantage of it. Okay, I'm going to shift a little bit of our time here. Let me do a quick time check. Okay, great, I'm gonna wrap up quickly. So I'm gonna shift some of our time here to uh, the whole transportation picture, which really combines transit and infrastructure considerations. And we're gonna learn this quick story here before we get back into Remix from Metro Transit in Minneapolis. So they have been working together to um, really break down some of the silos that can occur um, between all the different stakeholders in the region. So this visual that's kind of going through here is what uh, is displaying more of the street infrastructure side of things. So Metro Transit has ambitious BRT plans to improve the quality of service and reliability, and they need to work with the city of Minneapolis in order to push these projects forward. So they, for the first time, have really fast, easy draft concept visuals that they can use to communicate to get all the uh, stakeholders on board. All right, I'm gonna show you what this looks like in Remix Transit, pretending that I'm using this for my Providence story. I'm gonna to go to Remix here and it's all in one platform. 
So I did, uh, because we have so little time on this webinar, I did a little bit of uh, work previously. Here's my site with my Rite Aid. This is where I was working on Pittman Street. I can quickly, I can quickly just add road network here to flush out my project. And then for my plus project, I built a little bit here already, but my main goal as the transit planner in this scenario is to help communicate with the redevelopment agency what the streetscape could look like and the improvements that we think can be made in the area. If we're already you know, resurfacing and retouching some of the, the land here. So an example of what you can do in Remix here is I can very quickly kind of drag and drop cross sections of the roadway to display, say, a pedestrian bulb out. And let me make a quick splice there. Okay, just like this. So it's very fast and very easy. Oops, not a drive lane, my fault. I actually want to add parking. There we go. So here's my bulb out and I can move it a little bit closer and I did that really quickly and then I can move this object in. So this is a quick visual that I'm also going to screenshot and send off in my email. I'm showing you some examples of custom street elements where I can just place a simple bus stop on the map like that and I can manipulate this object to have a quick streetscape. Okay, so that's where we're really trying to bridge the gap between the transit service that can occur on the ground, on the road, and I can actually turn on my transit network and see that here and put my little buses and connecting that to the infrastructure improvements in the actual right of way design space. Okay. Wrapping up, last but not least, I have a couple of data capabilities, getting back to the data, that, it, that we now have in Remix that we did not before. I'm going to move over to the New York area here. I have a couple transit lines already on this map. But what I wanna show you is the big reveal. So we've got ridership. I can spell correctly here. And this is just a sample data set that we have in the New York area of the ridership for this particular line, the Bay One line. This visual is telling us the bigger the spots, the more uh, boardings and alightings are occurring there. You can actually filter this by alightings and boardings, time of day, weekday, inbound directions and you can hover over to see more information. Additionally, if you want all your data in one place, we can do bike share stations now as well. So in New York, they don't happen to overlap in the same area. There's a ton of city bike data here and you can hover over these stations see the number of available docks. We've got 29 in this example, the estimated daily trips, the time empty, the time full, and just get some quick statistics about what's going on with that docking station and really start to connect all the different modes uh, and the whole transportation network together. Okay. So we're about to get into our Q&A station or section right now. The last thing is a sneak peek. So this, everything we've covered thus far exists in Remix today. In the Remix platform, it exists today. We have the capabilities, please leverage it. What I'm gonna show you now is a little bit, a teaser of what's to come. So these will be coming very shortly. We've got some work being done on the uh, refreshing our public feedback. That's a very popular uh, feature to quickly engage the public digitally. 
We have some uh, improvements to that. I can show you an example if we have time. Jane Wachshez, this is a big one. I know lots of folks on the line have probably been looking forward to this one. So we're gonna make Jane even more robust for your analysis. Turn by turn directions. Uh, remember, an annual license with Remix covers everyone at your organization. So this has become really popular, especially in the, typically the operations area or communication with drivers, getting information to drivers or even the public and getting that turn by turn direction for the detour on your website. And last but not least, improving our presentation and visual tools. So I showed you a little bit of that of what exists today, but we're gonna go even farther to create, customize and export visual project materials in the platform. I am going to take my project that I was just working on. So this is my Providence Pittman Street project. And I'm actually gonna copy paste this URL and throw it into an incognito window. So what this is gonna show is the public feedback improvements that we're currently working on. So, so a lot of this is in beta or prototypes. If you'd like to try it out, please let us know, reach out to us. We love user testing, get your feedback, and you can um, help us refine these features even more. So this one, we know it's really important when you're solicitating feedback to get more information about your constituents or the public. So we've now improved this experience. We have um, a much longer form here for name, address, and then comments. And this information gets sent back to the maker of the map. So we're really trying to make this better. Secondly, we have turn by turn. So I'll show you a little sneak peek of that, say for this extension. I have the beta feature turned on right now. So I can simply go on my route, go to turn by turn directions, remix will load. It gives you, you know, if we don't have 100% confidence in exactly what that direction is and how it's written out, we'll give you a heads up. So these turn by turn directions as I scroll through here, it even does roundabouts where the bus would exit at that roundabout. Um, it'll give you a heads up, this is a long route, in case it wants you to double check. And this is all exportable. You can get it out. So there's a quick sneak peek. Thank you for making this webinar so extremely successful. I think we've got you know, over 100 people on it. We'll send out the recording and some, additional, uh, and some additional resources as well, but I wanna thank everybody that participated and engaged today. Sometimes it's hard to just have a conversation with myself, so I felt like everyone was there in the chat room and the inbox with us, and I really appreciate it. Go transit and have a great rest of your day in whatever time zone you may be in.